Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, May 19, 2024. I pray that God will be with you today and I pray that His peace will guide you as you seek His face. Our reading today comes to us from Malachi chapter 4 and we will continue from verse 4 to 6. And it says, Remember ye the law of Moses my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with the status and judgment. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he will turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Amen. We give God thanks again for his holy word. And the message here is clear. It is telling us that God never does anything without a warning. He never does anything without giving instruction and guidance first. So that when he act, no one can give any excuse because what? He has made the preparation. He has given the chance for us to escape impending judgment and punishment. And so the choice would have been left up to us at the end of the day. But God never does anything without informing his people first. And so the reading tell us that we are to what? Remember the law. So the law that God gave Moses to give to Israel, remember the Ten Commandment? He says that we are to remember that law. And what does the Ten Commandments say? Go back and visit them and see what they say. But God is saying that we need to abide by them. He went on to say that he will send us Elijah the prophet who will prepare the way for his coming. Now, do we understand what it means by sending Elijah the prophet? Okay, let me break it down for you. The Lord always have a message, as I said, to give to the people and to tell them to what to repent and to turn from their ways remember when elijah was prophesying over israel and prophesying to israel about their behavior and all the things that they were doing and oh god was gonna visit judgment upon them unless they repent go back and read elijah and not just elijah but throughout the bible we can see the a recurrent theme where God is about to act. And before he act, he send a message. So the message of warning that is given before God actually act, that is what it means by the Elijah message. A message that will call men and women back to, to God. That will tell them that they need to repent and they need to turn from their wicked ways so that's the concept of the elijah message so in the age prior to, to jesus coming right he called for men who what will prepare the people to do what to stand in that great day of the lord so prepare for his return or for his coming and in the last days, he's doing the same thing. He's calling men and women to what? To give the message a certain sound. To preach the gospel. The gospel of his return. The gospel of the judgment. We often speak about the three angels' messages. Right? We are to 
speak and to tell the people that God is coming soon and that he's coming to judge this world and that he's coming to judge you and me and where we stand will make a grave different and how we live our life is going to impact how we are treated on the day of judgment and so we are called to repent in Jesus' time just before he began his ministry who was the one that was preparing the way for him John right remember John was preaching and telling the people that they need to what repent and they need to what turn from their sin and even those in the church the pharisees and the sadducees the message was for them too because they were the leaders of the church at the time and so the message is not just for those um who are in the world the messages for the members in the church the messages are for the leaders of the church for everyone who is not walking according to the principle that is written in the word of God and here he's saying that we need to repent or else he's gonna come and do what smite the earth with a curse so he's gonna visit judgment upon this earth and all those who have not repented of their sin all those who still have sin hanging on to sin they will be punished for their sins and so in order for us to escape that punishment in order for us to escape that great and dreadful day of the lord and to be on the side of safety we have to turn to god we have to repent of our sin because as scripture tells us that the kingdom of heaven is at hand and so we must be careful of the messages that we accept in these times messages that speak a lot about prosperity and peace and safety not that god doesn't care about the welfare of us all but it is important for us to understand that it's not going to be like that we don't live in a world that is peaceful so we can't be preaching about peace and safety all the time we must preach the dust say the lord that what we who are practicing sin those who are sinning against god breaking his commandment must repent or the hand of god and his wrath will be visited upon them and so the idea to give people the impression that they are okay in their sin and that they can continue to live a careless life is a message that must be rejected at all costs any message that will not draw your attention to your state and your sinfulness and cause you to repent and to turn to God is a message that you must reject without hesitation because a message like that will lead you in the wrong direction and then you will find yourself wanting at the last day and so in order for us to know what God is saying to us and to follow his precepts and his principle we must adhere to the principles that are written in the word of god so as i will say to you this morning you must go with the thus say the lord thus say the lord and nothing else it doesn't matter who comes to you and preach another message and give another message as long as the message is contrary to what the bible is saying if the message is a message that goes against the three angels messages if the message is a message that goes against the principles of God if the message is a message that fight against the commandments of God and fight against the status and the word of God is a message that you and I must refuse with all costs 
And so I pray that as we consider the reading this morning, that we'll allow the Holy Spirit to inform us and that we will receive the information and act upon the information. May we take heed. May we not allow ourselves to be taken into captivity because we refuse to eat the warning of God. So it's not about peace and safety because the Bible says that when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction will come up them. And so we must let the people know that God is going to punish sin. Sin will be punished. And until we understand the gravity of the situation, then we are in danger of losing our souls. So may God help us to really pay attention to what he is saying, to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit so that we will not be found wanting when he returns. May God bless you and may God bless me and help us that we will be faithful, that we will be true till the very end. Amen.